it's definitely it's calm. It's uh, it's it's zen. That's the thing I guess I could mostly compare it to. I like to just be able to go out on my own and be able to like tackle some problem and like it's it's very uh, peaceful. It's funny when you're like on the wall. It's literally just you and the rock, and it's it's a funny funny feeling. I don't really like going to the regular gym, so I was looking for a way to actually get out and do something active and fun and actually that's like a workout so I remembered how I'd always gone to the climbing gym so I started going and then I got hooked it was an amazing workout and mental physical and it was really fun I actually got started with my dad because he was basically the one that taught me everything so I didn't really have anyone else but then through once you start going and you start networking and you meet people like my girlfriend who's now my ballet partner I've been climbing for about three years now. First memory of climbing was for school. We did a field trip to Solid Rock Gym where I currently go. And I remember walking in and just being like, dude, this is crazy. Like people can do this, like seeing all the big walls and it, it was it was pretty surreal. It was cool. My favorite style of climbing right now is bouldering, which is no ropes, rocks about, I would like to do 20, 25 feet, get a little scary. The funny part is about climbing is a lot of people are afraid of heights. It's almost like a getting over your fear kind of thing. Like Jessica, my girlfriend, when she first started, she was terrified. Like she would get halfway up a wall and be like, nope, I, I can't do this. And now. It's funny, she's, it's that adrenaline that like, oh my gosh, this is, this is crazy that you find a lot of people climbing or just it's like conquering fears. It's, it's a funny thing. It's like a crazily adrenaline like, even, it's funny, even though you know you're safe and you're up there like on a rope and you're totally fine, you still get that, man, if, <laughs> if something goes bad, I, this, it would be bad, but. It, it, it is a de definitely adrenaline. <sighs> that counts. <laughs> How was it? Oh, it was good. Slacklining helps exponentially because it keeps your like your core. You have to be like your balance has to be perfect, and it teaches you like how like if you move your body the wrong way, you could fall off, or it really helps you know where your body needs to be. You get that one? <laughs> I like bouldering because you can go out to a remote area with just yourself and your crash pad and it's it's kind of zen, it's it's fun. You forget about everything else. You're just, it's literally just you and the rock and you're just, it's very simple too, that's why I think it's so fun. It's literally just trying to find a way to get to the top of the rock, but you forget about everything else and you're just focused on what's literally right in front in front of you or above you. The beautiful part about climbing is it's an amazing sport you can do with people because it's not competitive at all. So I've gone out just with like groups of people and 
it, it, it's almost seems like a party. You're just hanging out with your buddies and you're all climbing and everyone is always so stoked to like <clears throat> have your friend climb something. And if you're all working on the same project, it becomes a really cool, like you almost all kind of bond just over that one route. Like if you get a little further than the other guy, they're like, oh yeah, that's awesome. Like now I know how I can get to that point. And but it's crazy to have all these people actually like cheering you on, like, come on, man, you can do it. Oh, I did it. Where's the champagne and naked ladies? 